Hello and welcome back to Necromunda Under. I have Shadow Coast and welcome to the channel. In this episode, we are going to run through Gopni Pit to outline how to do this mission because it can be super confusing. So we are going back. Normally when I do these, I like to go right to a specific mission point. But I have had so many questions on this mission. I'm just going to try to do a speed run through it all to show you exactly where to go. So this is the mission after we were captured. So we're going to skip the cutscene and get Enough to the mission. And we escape because our trusty pooch uh, took out our captors. So the first thing you need to do is run up these stairs and come over here. And you pick up all your At gear by just running out of out it, um, it. You know, running and then can click this little button here. Now, if you need to purchase stims, I stupidly died in, in the last mission I ran. Make sure you stock up on those. So after that, so we're actually going to do it from this point just because it's probably easier to follow. I'm going to try to make this as easy to follow as possible. You see that little thing over there? That's where you want to go. Down here. So follow the lights. You can grab some credits as you go, but make sure you pick up your weapons first, otherwise this mission will suck. So you have to click that button to open this thing up. So hypothetically you should have, like pick up your weapons as long as you run by it. And then you jump down here. There's some enemies here where we can clear them out pretty quickly. Uh, but just kind of follow the tunnel around. And then you're going to head to the right. Again, you can buy more stims if you need to. Um, over here. And even though I've run this, I still sometimes can get confused. Yeah, up here. So come up here. So just to like recap where I came from. You run down this hallway, you go right, and then you come up here if you don't see that green thing, which I missed. Now there are two ways to do this. You can jump through here, like I did. So you have the high ground advantage, and then you can just kind of kill everybody. Like I like to do. From, um, you know, up top. Okay. So jumping through that little hole there gives you the high ground advantage. And it looks like we killed everybody. Nope. We did not kill everybody. Gotta be careful about these guys. So this next part was a little tricky. Um, and I think this next part had the most kind of questions. So once you clear this out, which I have not yet, I want to clear it out just so it's a little bit easier. Okay, I think I killed everybody. And I'm just grabbing the ammo. So once you clear everyone out, come over here and use this thing. Hold it and it turns. It is going to pump gas. If you follow this green thing, go back into this room. It is pumping gas into this thing that's spinning and you're supposed to shoot it. So you might not have noticed that, but yeah, you blow it up and then you come through here. So again, we're gonna try to make this quick to kind of get through how to do this and where to go. Quick as possible using my bolter gun that is fairly upgraded. Just using some abilities I've upgraded. Try to speed this up. Be 
you can jump up here if you want to get that thing under the, the stairwell. And they do throw a decent amount of, uh, at you. So, just be prepared for that. Kind of path around. some snipers in the other room. So I just kind of run in circles. So at this point, we've cleared out the, the area. And then it's gonna say, keep going up here. So if you didn't notice, you can jump up here. So just to recap, you run into this room and you can just kind of angle, shoot up and come up here. There is a chest up here, there's a stem. So make sure you grab those things. And then you come down through here. So here you can wall run or Use your um, grappling hook to come through here. And you jump up here, and you just keep going. Watch out for the core grid. I think they're. to make sure it works. So once you run up these stairs, this is another kind of fight. There are going to be multiple orc ogrins. Sometimes a takedown is just more efficient. think the takedowns are the fastest on the order and you just have to shoot them and get close enough to do the takedown. Nope. There's another stem up there and you can get up here through here or you can run up the stairs. actually come back here there's some ammo you can also come up to this hole if you wanted to and once we're done so they're gonna keep spawning for a little while okay Once we're done, this thing up here is gonna open up and we can come up through here. It's gonna trigger a cutscene. Now, now we have to defeat this guy. So here's the deal. We wanna focus on him because they're gonna keep spawning enemies until we defeat him. Oh boy, I got a little bit too cocky here. So he's the guy, um, oh boy, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Sometimes it's just easier to Head around and kill other people, but you 
you're gonna want to take out the guy with the giant gun. There are a lot of melee people here. He's a guy with a little mohawk at the top that you're gonna want to just keep taking out. Sometimes it is easier to take out some of the riffraff, but just know that they're gonna keep spawning. So you just want to make sure. Now he tends to stay down there. There are some people that also have uh, guns, so it's not just only melee people that spawn. And what I like to do is actually use the majority of my skills on... You know what, I, I think they might run out of guys eventually, but it's just, I, 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 this fight's gonna last a lot longer. So we're going to focus on the guy over here, the boss. We have our heightened senses. Now that we've killed him, we can now finish off the rest. So I'm pretty sure just keep spawning. So you really want to focus the head guy down, and then you can take these guys out and be done from that standpoint. Okay, so it doesn't matter. You can go left or right through here. It circles over to the same thing. So either direction works. You're not gonna miss a chest or anything, at least when I did and I didn't notice anything. And that brings you to this room. So you have to come over here and use this council. And that's gonna lower the floors and then that'll be kind of the point. As we go down, we're just gonna keep lowering, uh, you know, using councils to like help us get to the next area until we can get to a point where we can escape. So I'm not focusing on chests or anything. I'm trying to do just like a speed run of how to like complete this level. Cause it can be super confusing. There's some dogs up here. stem over here so if you do want to grab it just wanted to point that out now this is tricky you want to wait and then you're just going to inch over to here and stand on this thing and it's going to raise you it'll tell you i think to get close but that's what you need to do or no it says get off quickly so we're going to do uh -oh, do that Okay, now we just have a bunch of bad guys that we have to worry about. So, you can just decide how to fight them. They're gonna chase you around. So sometimes I like to get on this platform so they all kind of climb up at the same place. And then you just shoot them one at a time. too early with my robo pooch on that one so like that's the easiest thing to do just like stand up here and kind of wait it says interact because it wants me to climb up uh, if you can get a good grenade Get a good grenade off, you can make your life a lot easier. So, like, as more people come up, I'm out of grenades. But if you do have grenades, wait and just throw them in there so you can hit them all at once, which is super more efficient. I, I expended my grenade, did not use it well, but you get the concept. They're just gonna come up on each of those rotating pieces once you've def defeated the waves. Oh. Then when you 
you're done with those waves. Come in here. And we're gonna skip this. But boom, you're done. So that is the quickest speed run through I could do. Hopefully that helps you finish this mission if you're having trouble. Thanks so much for watching. I am actively trying to grow my YouTube channel, so please consider subscribing and dropping this video a thumbs up. Hope to see you in future videos. Shadow Coast out.